What's non-alcoholic beer bad for you? In today's video, I'll have everything that you need to know. The short answer is no. In fact, they may even be good what? for you. No way, it's totally full of sugar. Well, actually, non-alcoholic beer contains about 1.5 grams of sugar per 100 mils, depending on the style and brand. So much less than cola, tonic, and even orange juice. Well, it definitely has too many carbs. Those poor carbs, always getting a bad rap. The carbohydrates in a non-alcoholic beer can range from two to 21 grams per serving. If you're counting carbs, just make sure you choose beer that's on the low end of this range. Okay, but what about the calories? Non-alcoholic beers can contain anywhere from 10 to 100 calories per serving, less on average than regular beer. A standard bottle of Heineken contains 139 calories in comparison to its non-alcoholic counterpart, Heineken 0, 0.0, which contains just 69 calories. So check the labels and make sure that the brand you're drinking is in alignment with your diet and health goals. Non-alcoholic beer also contains vitamins, minerals, so and what you're even saying fiber. Is non-alcoholic beer is good for you? Well, yeah. For example, it has antioxidants such as polyphenols. Polyphenols, which are derived from the malt, aid in circulation. They reduce blood pressure and inflammation, improve gut health, and boost immunity. Non-alcoholic beer also has electrolytes. Victory Wheat from Wellbeing Brewery is as electrolyte rich as popular sports drinks with much less sugar. For a 16 ounce serving of Victory Wheat, you get zero grams of sugar which you get about 35 in your average sports drink for the same amount. Electrolytes help you get and stay hydrated. Plus, they enhance exercise performance, promote sleep, strengthen immunity, improve cognition, stabilize your blood sugar, support heart health, strengthen muscles, and improve digestion. Because of this, non-alcoholic beer makes the perfect post-workout recovery drink. I love a cold beer after a workout. Me too. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, silicon. Non-alcoholic beers contain silicon, which promotes healthy hair, nails, skin, and bones, and overall collagen synthesis. Hops act like a sedative and soothe the nervous system, which means non-alcoholic brews aid in sleep and relieve stress and anxiety. Non-alcoholic beers contain vitamin B, folic acid, calcium, and potassium but what they don't contain is alcohol. And if they do, it's very little. 0.05% are about the same as a really ripe banana or sourdough bread. Did someone say sourdough? Did you tell them to hit the like button? Not yet. If you're enjoying this content, please hit that like button. So, is it okay to drink non-alcoholic beer every day? Everything in moderation, right? But honestly, why not? Read the labels and be mindful of how the carbs and the calories fit into your lifestyle. Considering all the benefits, it sounds like a functional beverage to me. But how does non-alcoholic beer affect your liver? Well, a study showed that non-alcoholic beer, along with healthy diet and exercise, was well tolerated in individuals with cirrhosis. The study further noted improved nutritional status and quality of life. I would like to see this study. I'll definitely post a link in the description. Ooh, you know what video I think they should watch next? As a matter of fact, I think I do. Hey! Don't forget to subscribe. Cheers. We'll see you in the next video.